everyone. In this session, we are going to see how we can generate the UUID in integration procedures and data rafters. So we are going to, we are going to see the intro. So what is UUID in computer science? Uh, then we are going to see its format and then we are going to see how it, uh, what is the use case of this in Salesforce. So let's start. So uh, a UUID is a 128 bit label used to uniquely identify an object or entity on the internet. Uh, the term GUID is also used uh, in place of UUID, mostly in the Microsoft systems. UUIDs can be generated to refer to almost anything imag imaginable. For example, they can identify databases, system instances, primary keys, Bluetooth profiles, etc. So now let's see the format of UUID. The UUID relies on a combination of components to ensure uniqueness. UUIDs are constructed in a sequence of digits equal to 128 bits. The ID is in the hexadecimal digits, meaning it uses the numbers 0 through 9 and letters A through A, A through F. And the hexadecimal digits are grouped as 32 hexadecimal characters with four hyphens. So when you see a UUID, it would be in this format. So uh, the number of characters per hyphen is 8, 4, 4, 4 and 12. So this would be 8, this would be 4, 4, 4 and this would be 12. So uh, there are many algorithms that are used to generate UUID and uh, that determine its uniqueness. So we are not going to go deep into the algorithms. We are just going to see what is the format and uh, how we can generate it in IP. So uh, let's see how, what is the use case of this in uh, Salesforce. So during integrations with multiple systems, uh, let's say that uh, we have a middleware in between two systems. So we send a header uh, that is the X correlation ID. So uh, a correlation ID is a unique identifier that is added to the very first interaction to identify the context and is passed to all components that are involved in the transaction flow. Correlation ID becomes the glue that binds the transaction together and helps to draw an overall picture of events. So let's say that we are trying to integrate two systems and there is a middleware in between them. The middleware is MuleSoft. So uh, the request would uh, travel from Salesforce to middleware and from middleware to the third party system. And now from third party system, it can uh, be sent back. So with all these multiple requests coming, uh, uh, coming out of Salesforce and coming back in. So how would we determine like the request is related to which context? So for that, we use the X correlation ID. So let's say that when uh, the external system makes a call into Salesforce uh, to get the data, so we, we would pass in a co X correlation ID and that X correlation ID would be used uh, for further requests so, so that uh, anyone can uniquely identify the request and the context of the request. So now let's see a demo to on how to generate the UUID in IP and data rafters. So now I'm in my org and I've created this uh, name credential and this is a test uh, URL which I'm going to use to make a call out. So now I have created two IPs here. Uh, the first IP I am using uh, a set values. Within the set values I'm using the generate global key function. So we use this generate global key function to generate a UUID. So I'm going to show you once I make a call out and I'm going to show you how this ID is getting generated. Then I have a HTTP call out action. So uh, I'm going, I'm, uh, I'm, make, I'm making a HTTP call out to this path and this is the name credential, this is the method. And if I open the rest options, I can see that I've passed in an X correlation ID and this X correlation ID, I'm getting it from the, from the set values UUID. So now if I click on preview and I click on execute. So I've received the response back. Now if I click on this debug uh, response and I click on HTTP action debug. So uh, we can see that the input was passed. Uh, the endpoint was this. Uh, that is the name credential plus the path and the X correlation ID that we passed. And look the format of this. The, this is the same format that we discussed uh, in our PPT. So uh, we can use this generate global key function to generate the UUID. Uh, similarly, if let's say you want to generate it in a data raptor. So now I'm making a post request and I've created this data raptor extract. And if I open this data raptor extract, uh, in the formulas tab, I can see that I, uh, we can use the formulas, uh, right? So we can use the generate global key formula 
in the uh, formula step of data wrapper extract to generate the UUID. And options uh, the same way we are passing the X correlation, correlation ID here. And then we have the response action and I'll click on execute. So I've got, we have got a response back and if I click on HTTP action debuff, so we can see that we are passing in this body now and we have the endpoint and we have in within the headers, we have the X correlation ID. So that's all for today's video. Hope you liked it and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future.